Okay, so what we're learning now is uh, actually something we've already done. We just did not put a name with it before. So this should not seem unfamiliar to you at all. So today we're going to graph with intercepts. All right, so it says here, the points where a line crosses the x-axis and the y-axis are called the intercepts of the line. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that on the next page. Okay, so take a look at this and look at where those two blue dots are. In case you can't see them very well, I'll go over them with pink. So here we go. We've got this dot right here and we've got this dot right here. Okay? Alright, so where those two dots are are called the intercepts. And so the y-intercept is at 0, 6, which is right there. The x-intercept is at 3, 0, which is right there. Okay, so the thing that I want you to notice here is that on the x-intercept, the y, I'm sorry, on the y-intercept, the x is 0, okay? And on the x-intercept, the y is 0. So that's kind of important for you to remember, is that on the y-intercept, x is 0, and on the x-intercept, y is 0. Okay, so for this page, this is just reminding you, the x-intercept occurs when y is 0, the y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. Alright, on this page, let's identify what the um, x and the y intercepts are. So on the x-axis, oops, I need to erase that. Okay, so on the x-axis, your y-intercept is, I'm sorry, your x-intercept is right there. And on the y-axis, your y-intercept is right there. So our x-intercept is at 4, 0, and our y-intercept is at 0, 2. Okay, so let's find the intercepts of this equation right here. So the first thing that I always do, whenever the, these things are written in standard form, I think this is the easiest way to find your intercepts, is to let x equal 0. That's always the first thing I write down. Let y equal 0. And I'm going to solve this thing twice. So whenever I let x equal 0, I'm going to put 0 right there. So I've got 2 times 0 plus y equals 6. So that goes away, and I'm left with y is equal to 6. So I have an intercept at 0, 6. That is my y-intercept. Okay, so now I'm going to let y equal 0. So I go back to my original equation, and I've got 2x plus, instead of writing y down, I'm going to put a 0 there. So that goes away. I'm left with 2x is equal to 6. Divide by 2, x is equal to 3. And so I've got an ordered pair or an intercept at 3, 0. So these are my two intercepts. All right, so on this problem it says find the intercepts of 4x minus 3y equals 12. So the first thing I do is I always write this down. Let x equal 0, let y equal 0. Anytime I'm asked to find the intercepts, that's the first thing I write down. So whenever I let x equal 0, I've got 4 times 0 minus 3y equals 12. That goes away. I'm left with negative 3y equals 12. Divide by negative 3 and I get that y is equal to negative 4. So I have an ordered pair. Don't forget, x comes first, so I've got 0, negative 4. There's my y-intercept. Oops. Intercept. There we go. I can spell. All right, so now I'm going to let y equal 0. So I start all over. I go back to the beginning. So I've got 4x minus 3 times 0 equals 12. That goes away. So I'm left with 4x is equal to 12, divide by 4, x is equal to 3. 
So I have an ordered pair. Don't forget, x comes first, 3, 0. So this is my x-intercept. Okay? All right. So I haven't asked you to graph it yet, but we're going to graph this one in just a little bit. All right. Okay, moving on. So now we're going to graph negative x plus 2y equals 6, and I'm going to use the intercepts. So again, let x equal 0, let y equal 0, and I'm going to solve both of these. So if I let x equal 0, I've got negative 0, which that's not possible. You No such thing as a negative 0. So that goes away. I'm left with 2y equals 6, divide by 2, so y is equal to 3, and I've got an ordered pair of, so there's my y-intercept. Here's my x-intercept. So go back to the beginning. Negative x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. That goes away, so I'm left with negative x is equal to 6. Divide by negative 1, and I have an ordered pair of negative 6, 0. So now to graph this, I'm going, I'm going to go to 0, 3 on my graph, which is right here, and negative 6, 0, which is right here, and you connect your dots. Okay, and label the important dots, and write the equation of the line. Go back to the original equation. And you're done. Okay, so for this problem here, this is the same problem that we did just a second ago. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab this information right here. So we've got uh, there we go. There we go. All right, so now we have that information, and we are going to plot these on the graph. So 0, negative 4 is down here, and I've got 3, 0 is right here. Connect your dots, label those important points, and write the equation of the line. And we're done. All right, so now let's take a look at this problem. So y is equal to 4x, and we are going to use the intercepts. So if I let x equal 0, and I'm also going to let y equal 0. So I've got y is equal to 4 times 0. So y is equal to 0. So I have an ordered pair at 0, 0. If I let y equal 0, watch what happens here. Divide by 4, x is also equal to 0. So I only have one point here. It takes at least two points to create a line. So I'm not finished, and I actually cannot graph this thing using just the intercepts, because they both have the same intercept, and that's okay. But that means we have to come up with another method to graph this. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to save this. Oops, hang on, let me delete all that. All right, and now we're going to use our other method that we had for graphing this thing. So we're going to create a table. So we already know whenever we put in 0, we get out 0. Okay, so now if I put in, let's say, 1 for x, I've got y is equal to 4 times 1, which is 4. And if I put in negative 1, y is equal to 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. So now I've got enough points here to create this line. So I'm going to go right 1 up to 4 and put a dot. I'm going to go from 
the origin left one down four and put another dot and I'm going to connect my dots as best I can without a ruler which is bad I know and label at least your intercept and write the equation of the line next to it and you're done so that's it so we had to revert back to using a table in order to graph this thing which is totally okay and sometimes you do have to do that you don't really have a choice like with this problem we didn't have a choice we had to do it so that's it that's it for this lesson if you have any questions send me a message